What's happening guys? We got another exercise for you with the resistant band. Today we're going to focus on something called the overhead press. You may know some of these terms and some of these figures with working out in the gym. The overhead press and what you'll find out is that you can do a lot of those exercises, if not all of them, with resistance bands. And so with the overhead press, we're going to work on our shoulders, our chest, and our tries and buys. We're going to push it up there. Um, it's a couple different ways to do this exercise, but we'll go over it. It's about seven to 10 minutes long for you to do these exercises. So with the overhead press, a couple things you're going to need, of course, is your resistance band, something to drink. And my drink is IsoPure. You can check that out. I have a link below. It's a great protein shake for you to have. It's lactose free, gluten free, and it's vegan. Um, it's pretty easy to digest. So I have a link below for that. And also the resistance band, which is a link on below for Amazon, which has two to three day delivery. And sometimes you can get overnight with Amazon Prime. And most certainly you need your gloves. Keep in mind, just like you're in the gym, you are working out. So you want to be safe and you don't want to tear up your hands with the bands because the bands can get tough. I'm telling you. Something I like that I may have mentioned in a couple other videos is the opportunity to be outside working out to get out of the office to get out of the home to get out of the gym i can stand out here i'm out here in dc again i'm at the national monument outside of haynes point we got reagan international airport reagan national airport right across the street i also see the pentagon i see uh the air force memorial and we got a lot going on people walking around enjoying themselves including me i'm not stuck in a gym somewhere i'm actually outside getting my bussy muscles toned, getting them, you know, nice and sharp and defined with these resistance bands. Okay, so there's a couple ways we can do this. I would recommend, depending on the band you have, and depending on your level, taking the band and putting it into your foot like this, where you're standing into it, right? And when you stand into it, I want you to take the band and go behind you, like this like this so it's behind you okay just like this and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go straight up straight up so it's a one hand motion for you going straight up like that so you would do that back and forth with each hand to get the workout or depending on your level you stand up and do both of them at the same time, which is how I'm going to do. Now, keep in mind that if you can't do both at the same time, just stick with the one hand and make it easier for yourself. But this is how I'm doing it. So I've taken it. I put it into a U. And you know how we normally stand in with both feet? I'm just standing in with one foot. Making sure I have balance here. Taking this, taking the bands, putting them at my side. Coming around. And they're behind me now. And I press up. Let me give you a side view of that. I have the bands here. One foot in. I step in of it. Have my other foot back here for stabilization. I take the bands to my side. I take it around. And it's behind me. And I go straight up. Straight up. Just like that. So just like with our other exercises, we're going to do this for the seven count. Pyramid is what we call it. We're going to start with seven. We're going to go down to one. So it's seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, then six, five, four, three, two, one. As so this exercise takes about seven to 10 minutes for you to do, depending on how long you take a break in between. I'd recommend at least 10 seconds and at the most 30 seconds between each set. Here we go. I got my U shape. I'm going to step in. Make sure I have it nice and firm under my foot so I have control of it because you don't want that thing to pop up and hit you. So keep in mind of that you got to make sure that you have control of it and make sure you have something on your feet preferred because if it pops up, you don't want it to pop out and hit you. Then I'm going to take it back. It's behind me and you can bend down if you need it to be a little looser or you can stand up straight. So here we go. Let's do seven of them and go up as high as you can with the bands to make sure that you get that resistance, but not too high to where it's hurting you. Remember, if it hurt, it don't work. If it's pain, it's gain. Here we go. Starting with seven, let's go. 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice fluid motion. I feel it already on the first set. I love it. Working out with these bands, seeing everything, getting outside of the gym is a great feeling to have. I hope you get a chance to check this out. Get yourself some bands. Check out the links below. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please. We need those. Oh, yeah. And hit that little bell because without hitting the bell next to the subscription, you won't know that we uploaded some new videos. Here we go. Let's go with six. Take a deep breath. <sighs> All right. Pull it up. Get it behind. Take your time to get in a position. There's no rush to push them up. So get into position first. And here we go. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I promise not to trick you guys with exercises on this one, throwing in extra sets. So we'll keep the numbers right. All right, we're going to take a quick break, a couple seconds, get your breather. It's just like working in the gym, folks. Like you're going to feel it. And I know. If you're doing what I'm doing right now, you're feeling it and you, you might be shocked if you've never worked out with resistance bands, but you get a great workout. Keep in mind, it's all about consistency. So if you're consistent with your workouts, it'll always work out. OK, let's do five. Here we go. Take the time to get it up, get into position first and ready. Go five, four, three, two one oh that feels good getting air a different scenery like people are jogging people are enjoying life kids are playing i love these resistance bands it gives you a chance to get out and get that workout in and keep in mind that you need to say the number out loud whatever set you're on and whatever number you're on by saying five four three it's making sure that you're breathing and taking in the oxygen needed to build and define muscle so there you go. All right, let's get four. All right, four, ready? Get into position and go. Four, three, two, one. Oh, that feels good. If that doesn't feel good to you, I don't know what to tell you because you're getting the same workout you get if you were in the gym but you're outside, you're enjoying life, and you just have bands, you don't have to lug around and wait for a machine. This is your machine. All right, where are we at? Four or three? <laughs> you pick. Four, let's do four, come on. Here we go. All right, one trick in there, there we go. Four, four, three, two, one and you'll notice throughout the videos if i stick with the numbers because I, I gotta feel that burn you'll feel it and you know it's getting easier as you go down but you're also exhausting the muscles as you go down so see that's something you're not accounting for it might be easier the number you're doing but your muscles are getting exhausted and keep in mind with the with the resistant bands our goal is not to get real buff our goal is to get firm tight and just get those muscles defined. You know what I mean? We're firming it up. So any looseness you may have, the resistance bands will firm it up for you. All right, let's do three. Here we go. Take your time, get into the position. All right, and go. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, that feels good. And keep in mind, I'm not saying I'm out loud because I'm on camera. I'm saying I'm out loud is because that's what I would normally do. Um, I want to make sure that I'm breathing. I want to make sure I'm getting that oxygen where needed. And I want to make sure I have a drink nearby and just put somewhere to sit down if need be. Just like in the gym, if you're working out hard, you may need a break. All right, let's do two. Ready? Go. One. Two. Oh, wow. We're almost done. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Get a quick breather. And let's get into position. 
Last one. Go. One. Oh, that felt good. I hope you enjoyed the resistant band workout. We worked out the upper body again. We're working out the tries, mostly buys, a little upper chest, back, and shoulders. Uh, enjoy you. Enjoy life and enjoy fitness. The summer is now. I'm Rufus Patterson. Thanks for watching. And hey, remember to check our other videos for fitness bands and resistance bands to check out what other exercises we have. Thanks for watching.